Digital light painting is a good way to add dramatic lighting to images that originally didn't have any. Starting out here with an image of two doors shot on location in Rome, Italy, and it's shot in open shade, no direction whatsoever. I like the composition, but it's just a very, very flat scene. I'm going to start by going into my layers palette and open that up. I can see that I have one background. I'm going to double click on that and turn it into a layer to start with, so I have that as an active layer. I'm going to duplicate that layer by dragging it down into the new layer icon so I actually have two layers. And in this case, because I'm going to have an extra situation here where I want to turn on these lights, I'm actually going to have three layers. So I'm going to duplicate it a third time. I have three layers of the same thing. I'm going to turn off the top two and just work on the bottom one. Now you can see that this is the active layer and the other two are turned off visually. So now if I do anything to this layer, I'll be able to see the effect. I'm going to go in here and go to my adjustment levels layer. And I can see this right above the background layer, so I don't have to worry about it affecting any other layers. And instead of darkening the image, which you think, I, the way it works in light painting is that we're going to have a darker image beneath a brighter image, and we're going to paint the images together. So here, you would think to start with, I'd make it dark by dragging the uh, level's darker, but no, I don't want to do that. I want to subtract the light. I want to make it flatter and darker. So I'm going to go to the output levels and drag the white triangle down, subtract light. You can see it's getting very flat, but it's getting to be like a couple of stops underexposed. If I turn that preview on and off, you can see that's what we're looking for is right there. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and make this the active layer. I'm going to hold down my Option key, Alt on the PC, and click the New Layer Mask icon. And when I hold down the Option or Alt key, it makes a new layer mask and fills with black. So it's New Layer Mask Hide All. With, with masks, we remember that black conceals and white reveals. So we no longer can see that layer at all. I'm going to turn on my third layer, make that active. I'm going to change that blend mode to Screen Blend Mode. That's going to make it much, much brighter. And because it's got the, uh, it's only being bright against the bottom layer, you can see down here it isn't that much brighter. But when we turn on the uh, the other layer right here for a second, I'll go ahead and hold my Shift key down, and I'll disable that mask for a second by holding down the Shift and clicking in the mask. You get the X through the mask, and that disables it temporarily. You can see that this layer right here, the screen blend mode layer, is very bright and it's really making it like a couple stops overexposed. I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, black layer mask to that, holding down my Option or Alt key. I click the layer mask icon. I get a black layer mask. I want to go ahead and disable this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hold my Shift key down, click again on the second layer, and we'll remove that. And that actually enables the mask to show. Um, let's go ahead and name all the layers. I'm going to go ahead and double click on these and say we're going to call this dark. We're going to call this normal. And we're going to call this bright. Okay, so now we can see as we're painting which layer we're going to be working with here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our normal layer. I'm going to go ahead and click actually on the layer mask. When you're clicked here, you can see the box around the actual pixels. When I click on the mask, the box is around the mask. I'm going to go ahead and close this off. I know that I'm on the right layer. I'm going to go ahead and close this out of our way for a little bit. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab a large paintbrush. I've got a 250 pixel soft brush. I've got a high opacity and a very low flow. And since it's a black layer mask, I'm going to want to paint with white. So I'm going to go ahead and just start. I'm using my uh, Wacom tablet, and I'm actually going to start bringing in some beams of light very slowly. Because I have the opacity at 100%, it means that the longer I hold down this brush, the more ink, in a sense, will come out, revealing the mask, revealing the image. If I have a high flow, it comes out faster. So what I'm doing is building it very, very slowly here. And we're just going to go ahead and start putting some light in a few spots. Obviously, you need to get the street lights lit up a little bit, so I'm putting a lot of light right here. A little bit light right in here. I'm going to go ahead and use my bracket key to make the brush bigger and smaller. I'm going to use my left bracket key right now to make it smaller. And I'm going to start bringing in some of the highlights over here on the shots. Bringing in these images right here. I'm going to bring in a little bit of the street lamp. Yeah. 
and I'm just starting to paint little streaks of light just kind of beaming in coming in from like as dappled through the trees here I like what's going on here let's go ahead and we're gonna go open up our layers palette we're gonna change to another layer but first let's just take a look at what this shot is actually doing you can see with this layer on how it's actually putting the brighter exposure on there if I actually look at the mask I can hold down the Option or Alt key, click the mask, and I can physically see the mask. The black areas are hiding this image. The brighter areas are letting the image come through. If I hold down my Option or Alt key, click the mask, I bring that back. If I hold down the Shift key, I temporarily disable it. If I Shift click it again, I would enable it back. Let's go ahead and click on the brighter layer here. I'm still painting with white. I'm going to go ahead and start painting right over this lamp just to give it the illumination feel that the, there's actually light coming right off off that street light right there if I need a little more light in here at some brighter areas I could actually come in here and just lightly give it a couple of dapples of a few lights some areas where it didn't quite get enough light I'll go ahead and close this out of our way for so we can see better This is starting to look, starting to take some shape here. It's working pretty good. If we go back to our original photograph, actually put a little bit of light down here on the on the ground here. If we go back to our original photograph, I'm going to hold down my Option key and click the eyeball icon. It'll hide all the other layers. So you can see we've gone from a very normal, just sort of blasé kind of lighting to a much more dramatic lighting here.